Rick, we will forever remember your laugh. We will forever remember your smile. And we will forever remember the impact you had on our lives. An emotional goodbye to the Ridge Meadows RCMP officer killed in the line of duty nearly two weeks ago. I love you, my friend. Rest in peace. And we will take it from here. Godspeed. I wish I could have done more to help. We're also very proud of you. We love you and you will be missed. 51-year-old RCMP Constable Rick O'Brien was shot and killed on September 22nd in Coquitlam while executing a warrant. On Wednesday, thousands of people, including police officers from across the region, gathered in Langley, where he lived, for a regimental funeral. Rick's loss has devastated many people. It was too early and it was senseless. O'Brien, who leaves behind a wife and six children, joined the Mounties in 2016 after previously working with at-risk youth. He's remembered by family and friends as humble, genuine, a hard worker, and someone with a great sense of humor. Believe it or not, the amount of teasing, joking, and name-calling that you endured, I mean received, from Rick was an indication of how much he truly cared for you. At least that's the way my therapist has explained it to me. The love we shared will be the one thing I will cherish the most. A once in a lifetime kind of love, a storybook love. Family friend Stephanie Porter spoke on behalf of O'Brien's wife, Nicole. She said the couple was supposed to be going away on vacation on Wednesday. And here I am instead, sending you off to a different kind of paradise. <laughs> One that I was never prepared for. Before the funeral, a sea of red as thousands of officers and other first responders marched through the streets of Langley during a procession. It included a riderless horse symbolizing their fallen member. The world has changed with this loss. We can't say enough, but we want to say, well done, Rick. We love you. Two other officers were injured during the shooting that killed O'Brien. A 25-year-old Coquitlam man has been charged with first-degree murder and attempted murder in the case. Monica Gould, City News.